welcome back everybody to pop culture conspiracy i'm your host t how are y'all doing today and in this video i'm going to be talking about hollywood crumbling everybody being exposed diddy's distraction ritual and more before i hop in please like share and subscribe let's talk in the comments but also, I want to just turn the mic over to y'all. Please comment below. Tell me how the eclipse yesterday hit y'all, that lunar eclipse. Did you feel the energy shift? I definitely did. I've been feeling it over the past few weeks. It's definitely been a time for me in life to end chapters and let people go who I've wanted to let go for a long time. This is the end of the energy vampire. I am so happy. So shout out to God for that. Shout out to Jesus for that. Let's start talking about Hollywood. Tell me how your day went yesterday, though. Um, let's talk. So, with Hollywood and everybody being exposed, I know everybody believe this stuff with Diddy is genuine, but it's not. Because in order for Diddy to have gotten out of there so fast, he was definitely tipped off. And I wonder where his mom at. Because Diddy's mother, Janice Combs, is definitely a high-level occultist. That's why we don't hear her talk at all. Because she know better, Okay. <laughs> But with Diddy, Diddy had already had a pilot and a jet uh, booked and chartered and gassed up for him to go. Just like he already had a place overseas booked for him to go lay his head when he got there. So please understand um, a Freemasonic play when it's being done in front of you. They are sacrificing the black man, because this is Freemason black and white chessboard. They're sacrificing the black man to save the white man, just like with the R. Kelly shit. R. Kelly should have been arrested, but he should have had everybody else who was complicit and was an accomplice in his bullshit. They should have been arrested too. But that didn't happen because if they would have started arresting everybody who was guilty and complicit along with him, we would still be arresting people to this day. And we would have quickly got into the royals and the politicians and it, everything would have been exposed. But see, you can't stop God. And that's why it's continuing to happen. So Diddy. Diddy already knew all of that mess was coming his way. His house, I believe Candace Owens and Miss Lowdown. Shout out to them ladies because his house was being raided so they could take evidence. So that Jay-Z and Clive Davis and Leo Cohen and Kevin Lowes and all of them, Lucian Grange, so that they, they weren't implicated in that bullshit. Because they were all, uh, they all know what's going on. They all have been doing sex and blood magic rituals because that's what this is really all about. This is what this is all about. Shout out to Cat Williams because he's been telling everybody people about to be exposed. And they are about to be exposed. I'm going to keep going deep with this. Why this is all happening? Why Hollywood runs like it runs? Because this is really what is important. All of these puppets don't matter. They're puppets. They push Satan's agenda. What's important is to know Satan's tactics and his agenda. That's what I really want to get on. So I have a photo in this video talking about Aleister Crowley, the movie Rosemary's Baby, Eyes Wide Shut, <clears throat> Blood and Sex Magic. That's what's important here. Let's not focus on puppets. Let's focus on what's really going on. The reason why there is so much trafficking with these kids, the reason why everybody in Hollywood got to do drugs, do rituals where they all humping, and why the main way to do all of this humping is to touch people up the backside is because this is a part of Satan's ritual. These are blood and sex magic rituals. They need you to shed blood so that way entities, extra dimensional entities, can enter into this realm and enter into your body and use you as a vessel or a puppet to do the devil's work. That's what this is all about. Satan is the prince of this world, or the god of this world. The world being the matrix. School, work, jobs, government, royalty, all of that. That is Satan's, that's Satan's shit. Because we know Jesus and God don't give a damn who you are. It's about your soul and your character and what you believe. But in Satan's world, it's completely different. So in order for Satan to push his agenda, he's got to get permission to enter people's bodies and him and his cronies, him and his cronies being the rest of the demons that left heaven with him when they decided to raise hell. Um, you know what I'm saying? No pun intended, but that's what this is all about. This is all about a battle between God versus 
the devil. And the devil is using people to push his agenda to go against God. That's what's happening here. So in Hollywood, when they do these rituals, you got to bleed. They got to hump you because they got to find a way for the demons to enter you. They got to do drugs and get you drugged up and get you drunk and high. They got to do that because when they alter your mental space, it's easier for demons to enter your body and do the devil's work. That's literally what's going on. That's why you see, again, everybody in Hollywood having all these kids. Everybody in Hollywood um, trafficking all of these kids. Everybody in Hollywood adopting all of these kids, a.k.a. trafficking them. That's happening because they are using these children as vessels for demons. The demons want the kids because kids are easier to do rituals on. They're easier to control. And it's also disrespect to God because children are innocent and pure. And clearly Jesus and God have favor on children because they are young, innocent, and pure. So when the devil is able to corrupt them, that's blasphemy. It's a way for him to try to mock God and spite God. That's why he does this stuff. You got to peep a game, okay? I want you to see how a lot of this has already been exposed in Rosemary's Baby and in Eyes Wide Shut. But spells and rituals, a.k.a. through celebrities, artists, all of that stuff, entertainers, they are here to keep you distracted from the truth. The truth been out. So everybody acting like, oh, oh my gosh, the truth been out. The truth been out. We've been hearing about child stars. We've been seeing what, ha what happened to Michael Jackson. Amanda Bynes, Justin Bieber, you know what I'm saying? Usher, the truth been out about Diddy. The truth been out about Jay-Z. The truth been out about Beyonce. The truth been out about these people. They can only hide so long. Like, But you've been under a spell, a.k.a. glamour magic. I've been telling y'all, glamour magic is how these people put you under a spell to glamorize you so you don't see what's being done in front of you. When if you have spiritual discernment, you can see what's going on in front of you. If you have spiritual discernment, you could have saw a long time ago, Kim Kardashian is clearly a witch. Clearly. Clearly a witch. These people are nothing but vessels. All of this mess with Kate Middleton being missing, that's part of a distraction ritual too. That's part of a whole, again, Illuminati ritual. Kate Middleton missing. All of this shit popping off with Diddy. Everybody want Jay-Z head to roll. Well, y'all need to be going after Leo Cohen, Kevin Lyles, Lucian Grange. Uh, who the other one? Clive Davis. Because those are the real people who are really keeping up all this stuff in Hollywood. They're sacrificing Diddy, just like they sacrificed Epstein, because they don't want everybody else to get in trouble. Because, see, if you take down Clive Davis... And Lucian Grange and Leo Cohen, then all of Hollywood gets exposed. And thus, once they're all exposed, the whole operation is blown. Because no, you can't no, no longer trick anybody. You know what I'm saying? People know the truth now. So you will no longer be able to, again, pull a fugazi over people's eyes. Just like all this stuff with Dan Schneider and Nickelodeon. Please, Disney is next. And once they hit that Disney bag, child, please... It's coming, though, because you can't stop God, and you can only do so much wrong. You got to pay your karma tab. They don't want the real tea to be exposed because that would expose the royals. That would expose the government and the politicians, and thus, that would expose the CIA. And that would expose that the CIA is really a fake organization th that does nothing but devil worship. That's all they do over there. Just like NASA. NASA is fake. They don't have a real damn job. They're not really going nowhere. Their job is to worship Satan and to push Satan's agenda, which is keeping you um, distracted and dumb and believing that space is real and believing that the earth is a globe. Their job is to literally hold down Satan's plan, hold down Satan's agenda, push Satan's agenda, carry out Satan's agenda. That's why he got to touch you up your butt. Because when he touch you up your butt, he mess with your chakra system. Because your chakra system is the key to your soul. Messing with your chakras and messing with your third eye 
is how he can program you and take your soul out your body. You getting drunk and high and shedding blood and rituals is how you can invite entities from other dimensions, aka demons, to enter your body and work through you to carry out Satan's plan. That's what this is all about. All these people, even the top execs, they are all puppets who are just here to push Satan's plan, which is to ultimately chip your ass. Because see, when they chip you, they control you, they got your soul, you will not be dying. They can control you, use you forever to carry out Satan's plan, which is to have his whole planet looking like bots or Asian Smiths or iRobot. There is a reason why, again, Will Smith has been using all these movies to push these agendas. Will Smith, Tom Cruise, all of it. Puppets. Demonic puppets who have let the cabal use them for Satan's plan. And if people start paying attention and we start taking down, again, these major executives and these major politicians and these fake-ass royals who don't really have no validity to all of their fame and fortune and power, their only validity is that they are part of the 13 satanic bloodlines. These people agree to merge bloodlines with Satan for worldly riches and power. That's the T. That's the reason why they have their power in their position, because they have merged their bloodline with Satan. Their family ain't never staying in heaven. That's what it's all about. They don't want you to realize that this is all about Satan's plan. They don't want you to realize this is all spiritual warfare. This is not, again, matters of blood and flesh. This is principalities in high places. Literally. And the more that gets exposed and the more people who we start to pay attention to, we start to wake up to this is all a facade. This is all a damn Masonic play. And what's really going on is, again, God versus Satan. Satan has a plan. Satan is using children, doing satanic ritual abuse on them because his ultimate plan is to release the Antichrist, to chip everybody, and to overthrow God. There is still a battle being fought between Jesus and the devil. And the devil wants to, just like the original plan, the plan is still the same as it originally was. The plan is to overthrow God. And he will use anybody to do it. First, it was him and the third and the, the third of the angels who he ended up taking with him when they got kicked the fuck out. But the original plan was, okay, we are already in heaven. We are already in this dimension. Let's overthrow God up here. But it didn't work. So when Satan got cursed and cast down to this raggedy ass planet, he was like, all right, I'm about to use your people to overthrow you. And it's still not going to work, but that's what the plan is. Okay. I couldn't battle you up there. I'm going to battle you down here. And that's why he's using children and adults and anybody who's down for a check and down for 15 minutes of fame. He's using them as vessels to push his agenda, which is to release the Antichrist, which is what Rosemary's baby was talking about. He's using these people um, to eventually have his Antichrist. And then once the Antichrist comes, there's supposed to be like three of them, but one of them is going to be the big one to, to usher in the plan, to get everybody to be willing participants of Satanism so he can try to overthrow Jesus and God. But see, people are waking up with the... This is why I'm again, I'm not, I'm not anti-astrology. I'm again, I'm, I'm down with the stars. I'm down with the astronomy of it all because there is truth in the stars. There are when the trend, when certain transits come, certain things happen. So no, Satan will not win because the latest transits are waking people up. Everybody being exposed. That's part of why I do believe there is an agenda against TikTok. Now, I think some of it is distractions because, you know, people are like, oh, you know, I'm an influencer, TikTok. And yes, we know that there are better things going on in the world or bigger problems in the world than goddamn TikTok. But when you got stuff to hide, you want to take them down. Because, see, TikTok is not like YouTube. We know on YouTube is highly censored. You can get channels taken down. You can get videos demonetized and taken down. You can shadow ban. There are tactics against the truth on YouTube. But on TikTok, you ain't doing all of that. It's a different owner. And those owners, China has an allegiance with Russia. 
And Russia clearly just exposed that they down to expose. They down to reveal the truth. So there are different alliances in this world. Now, please believe the Chinese people, they got their own agenda too. The, um, Xi Jinping and all of them, they got their, and Putin, they all got their own agenda as well. So don't be caught up in that rapture. But just understand, there are different alliances going on. And TikTok does not have as much censorship. Everybody's being woken up on TikTok. TikTok right now is booming. Everybody getting exposed. Jay-Z getting exposed. Diddy being exposed. Dan Schneider, Nickelodeon, Disney, Cartoon Network. Everybody is being exposed. And we starting to see just how deep the rabbit hole goes. And that's part of why now there's this whole, you know, swing to, oh, we got to get rid of TikTok. But it's not going to happen. The truth will be spoken. The truth will prevail. So just stay woke, you guys. Talk in, let's talk in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, do you think they're going to take down Clive Davis? Do you think we'll ever get there? I think it's only a matter of time. But I just want to try to stay woke. This stuff with Diddy is distraction because they don't want those particular people to be taken down because they have to keep Hollywood going so they can keep Satan's plan going. That's why these people are doing this. They're doing this stuff to keep Satan's plan intact because if they don't keep Satan's plan intact, it's going to be their head rolling. Let's talk in the comments what y'all think. Bye.